this to the bottom. Do what you want to do. No. X cuts. Control X. Hmm? Control X cuts. What about it? Does it cut? It does cut. Instead of copy. Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Really? <laughs> yeah. I always do copy paste. I didn't know the cut. Yeah, but cut gets rid of it. I know. Well, then if you do copy paste, then you got to go back and delete it. Right? That's what I've always done. <laughs> wow. Years you wasted deleting mm. when you could have copied and pasted. And that oop. Greetings, Internet. Welcome to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. I'm Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. Hello. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining me on our bed for our low program here. Okay. So Thanksgiving is coming up. Uh, we have big plans. Uh, well, first off, KFC offers a $70 fried turkey and it comes with some fixins. They also have a hundred dollar package with even more fixins. Uh, would you be willing to do a KFC fried turkey? Why not? I ain't spending seventy dollars at KFC for Thanksgiving. No, um, I ain't doing that. What about you? Like their coleslaw and their mashed potatoes? I love, I love KFC. I love their mashed potatoes and gravy. I love their coleslaw, their yeah. biscuits. Yes, but that's really expensive. Yeah, I know. Uh, and I said, why not? Because you were shaking your head left <laughs> to right, which is not good for the pod, honey. Uh, but you were going through shopping, uh, our list and what to buy and what you were going to make. Um, and while you were adding stuff to our cart, you asked me how many ounces of gravy do we need? And I thought about <laughs> it for a second. And I was like, mm, six to eight. Cause Len and Luna don't like gravy, right? They don't eat gravy. Yeah. And I was like, mm. I would say two to four ounces on the light end, uh, but four to eight. I the... love gravy. Yeah. I ended up getting a 12 ounce jar. That was the smallest I could find. Yeah. I pour it over everything on my plate. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll pour it on the on the potatoes, but uh, as far as uh, the veggies or the ham or the... You, you even pour it on your bread, like rolls? I, I'm happy if it touches my rolls. Yeah. It's just an incidental contact. Um, so talk about uh, Thursday. We're headed to your parents, honey. The big turkey day. Uh, what are you going to make? What are you cooking? What what you bringing, girl? I'm bringing green bean casserole. I'm going to make two mm. because I think one is not quite enough. Mm. If there's extras, we'll just bring them home. Last um, year you made corn casserole. <laughs> I, I made the green bean casserole last year and added corn to it. Uh. So... It was kind of like a, you know, in a shepherd's pie, it's like a veggie yeah. medley. It was kind yeah. of like that. It was so good. But yeah. my mom hates corn. Well, that's great. Has... But your husband <laughs> loves corn and hates green beans. Choose. Choose your side, husband or mother. I'll make you a corn casserole Okay. at our house for ourselves. How about that? No green beans. No, no, no. Uh, okay. I'm also making banana bread. Yeah. And so that's those are both pretty easy things. Should be a light morning of cooking for me. First, you suggested uh, bringing a giant green salad, and I was like, "Get the heck out of here with that mess!" <laughs> because it's it's Turkey Day, it's Thanksgiving. Yes, green salad isn't too common, I think, in the right. traditional Thanksgiving spread. It's going to get it's going to get ignored. <laughs> uh, I'd I, eat some out of obligation. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would look at it and be like, well, I'm on my way to the ham. You're anti-greens on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Give me all the carbs. Uh, you want me... your plate completely beige. Yes. Yeah. I don't I don't want... I, I, I'm not about the rainbow on Thanksgiving, but otherwise, yay, pride. Uh, you're, there might be some uh, political conversations, honey, and we don't have to be specific, <laughs> but... Uh, are you? Uh, how are you feeling? Are you looking forward to this? Will you engage? I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. I hope that we just keep it surface level conversation. Mm -hmm. I speaking of like po political discussion. Yeah. Every weekend since the election, Carla's been bringing up politics oh my gosh. when we check out our groceries at the grocery store, and I, I just can't do it anymore. She is unhinged. She's out of pocket. She keeps asking me how I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, 
I just I hope that peters out also, but I hope it doesn't come up on Thanksgiving. Well, uh, the one person I'm thinking of, she or he, she makes kind of side comments and you're just like, okay, like we get it. Are you going to bring up politics or do you have like some responses that you're going to have ready? Yeah. Here's one. That's crazy. (laughs) Uh, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do like with Carla. I'll just be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what I, that's my commentary. Mm Mm-hmm. Right, right. You go, girl. Uh, by the way, we saw we saw Carla on her break when we went to grocery outlet the other day. She had like one of those camping chairs. She was outside by her car. Uh, she had one of those uh, fold up camping chairs that she was sitting in, and she was smoking a cig. And she had she has one of those old school like flip telephones or whatever. Uh, she doesn't have the new fancy iPhone or Samsung, and she was. She was living her best life. Yeah, she was chilling. She's like, I'm on my lunch. And it was uh, afternoon and uh, the unsavory people uh, tend to percolate in that area of West Sac in the afternoon. Uh, but I felt safe with Carla guarding our car. <laughs> yes. she had, like Her eyes were there. She would see anything that happened and she would report it. Yeah, she'd go one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, and then Friday, you're cooking for me and me and maybe Lennox and Luna. Primarily me and us, darling. Uh, can you talk about what you're going to make? Uh, what, do you, what do we eat in? We always get a ham from Walmart for our Thanksgiving. Yeah. And it's the boneless, pre-cut, like pre-sliced. Super easy. Just You put it in the oven for a long time. It comes with a little seasoning packet. You rub that all over it. Yeah, and it's always really good. We've had the purple, which is like brown sugar. Yes, we've and always bought brown sugar. This year we got the yellow. Yeah, I think it's honey roasted. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure it'll still be good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so ham, uh, we're doing biscuits. I bought some little frozen rolls mm, this year. Mm-hmm. We have stuffing. We have mashed mm. potatoes. We have scalloped potatoes. Mm. Gravy. Mm. We have... Is that all of our food? Mashed taters. Mashed potatoes and scalloped potatoes. Uh, I think that's all for our main dish. Once again, no greens at all. I'm yeah. not even preparing any greens. <laughs> well, they they uh, inadvertently or purposely put uh, celery into the stuffing. Uh, oh, yeah. So there, there will be there you go. scant amounts of uh, army green. I don't like stuffing, but... Oh, I love stuffing. It's, it's stovetop is what you're yes. making? Okay. I'll have... Uh, tablespoon or two uh, for then, dessert yeah yeah we I, we bought a caramel apple pie pre-made pre-cooked from walmart yeah yeah and we got a couple different ice creams mm-hmm. and some cool whip yeah cool whip yeah no salad no green beans no corn do you want a corn casserole no okay <laughs> <laughs> i just uh, I'll, I'll try it at your parents um but uh eh. i'm not making a corn casserole unless you want it for yourself no, I did okay. not. I did not. Maybe next year. Okay. And then uh, Saturday, we're going to go see Wicked, which I'm, I I, I I was sort of on the fence of seeing it. I was like, eh, we'll catch it on streaming. But I watched uh, this behind the scenes of, uh, I, I'm a sucker for synchronized dance, okay? <laughs> you, you give me 20 people dancing uh, harmoniously. And I just, I can't get enough. I'm so fascinated by it. I think it takes so much talent and rehearsal and time. Uh, And so I saw this one scene where they had this huge long tunnel and very, and it's spinning and uh, people jumping around uh, and juggling. I was, it was uh, with the director, John Chu, whose book I read. So we're we're pretty much bros. And uh, the cinematographer, uh, Gal, I don't know her name. But I watched this YouTube and I was so just taken by this little scene that they break down. Um, I was like, I want to go see this in the theater um, because that's how you should see something like that on the on the big screen. So we're going to go uh, the sh- and the showings are already s- selling out. We had we're going at 9 a.m., which is very early, but not the earliest. I think we've seen an earlier movie in our life yeah, together. We, we saw one of the Star Wars uh, at 8 a.m. And it was raining. And Lennox and Luna were miserable. And I was a little miserable. 
Uh, but yeah, the the later shows, uh, we just the all the all the good seats were taken. So 9 a.m. Saturday morning, Wicked. Uh, th- one thing of note is that uh, you can buy food ahead of time on Cinemark.com, uh, and they have a pizza, a personal size pizza, so four slices, the little tiny pizza that they sell in the movie theater. Twelve dollars and seventy five cents, dude. What the heck? Wow. Highway robbery. Who would pay that for four pieces of measly tiny pizza? Um, and then Thursday, we're going to do Christmas tree. Yeah. Thanksgiving night. As soon as the food is gone, we're going to come home and put up all our Christmas stuff. Yeah. Christmas tree, Christmas music, um, maybe a Michelob Ultra or two, honey. Uh, looking forward to it. Should be lovely. Uh, other stuff happening in our life. So Frankie's been crying while he does his business. What's that? Yeah, about? we hear him crying, and we're, we've realized lately when we hear him crying, it's coming from the bathroom where yeah. his litter box is. Yeah, uh, we we're worried about his little booty. Yeah, I we need to try to get him to the vet somehow, mm. some way. <laughs> Good luck with that. He doesn't do it all the time. No. Uh, and I, I don't know about you gals, but I've been in some men male uh, restrooms where. Guys can get vocal. <laughs> There's a lot of noise happening. Um, it might be his butt. Uh, but also, we just changed his his litter box. We do a garbage bag at the bottom of his litter box to make the removal of his litter easier. Um, and he is scared of any garbage bag. Anytime I take out the garbage, recycling, compost slash organics, he freaks out. And yes, sometimes I chase him around the house uh, going with the garbage bag. It's entertaining. Um, But maybe because he's like now pooping on top of a garbage (laughs) bag. Yeah. So he's terrified while he's pooping. Yeah. But he has no choice. He has to poop. Yeah. Relatable. And his his cries are like. (laughs) They sound really sad. Yeah. They sound, it's, it's bizarre. Uh, and then we built him a new home. So we went to Costco, spent less than $40. What is wrong with us, honey? Once again, we left spending less than $40. And I was like, we got to go back. <laughs> we haven't spent enough. Uh, but they give you boxes. By the way, they don't charge you for boxes. Yeah. And every freaking grocery market, grocery store, supermarket charges you 10 cents a bag. And boxes are way more expensive and rugged. I want to save every box we always get from Costco because they're such good quality. Yeah. And they're big. I love the Costco boxes. They're quite durable. Uh, But we got one this week. And then I was like, oh, let's put it uh, next to Frankie's little perch. And maybe he'll take to it. Uh, Because you see cats sitting in shoe boxes and various boxes, Amazon boxes of all sorts. Uh, I'm on the Costco subreddit, honey. I su- I highly suggest recommend it. It's a good time there, lots of fun. But uh, everyone gets boxes, and everyone has pets that go into these uh, boxes and looking all cute and adorable. Uh, but Frankie's not like that because I've done we because we get a ton of boxes here, uh, ordering all sorts of crap, and uh, and so I'll throw a box in the living room, hoping he. If it sits, I, if it fits, I sit, it does something adorable and, uh, and it just never takes. Yeah. He's not a normal cat in a lot of ways. Yeah. He doesn't do the biscuits. He doesn't sit in boxes. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's lacking in a lot of ways. He's terrible. But, uh, this time I cut him, I cut one of the edges, like a little wedge out of one of the, uh, 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 walls of the of the box um so he could have like a little patio or whatever <laughs> little front door little uh little action um little walkway action and you put a blankie in there i put a blanket in there i put the pillow we have that has frankie's photograph face and body on it yeah and i made it all cozy for him yeah and he was bored uh he didn't care uh, he ignored it, but then 
The heavens open. <laughs> yeah, it's been about four days. And today he voluntarily went into it a, a couple of times. Wow. And he just kind of sat there. Yeah. Like he looked a little uncomfortable, but he was sitting there willingly. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope that he warms up to it and starts sleeping in there. It's super adorable. I know. We keep calling it his apartment, yeah. his condo. Catio. Well, the, the tree's about to go there, so eviction. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a mobile home. It can move. Oh, I see. So we'll just relocate it within our house somewhere. Gotcha. Uh, so our HOA, uh, which started at $220. A month. A month. When we moved here four and a half years ago, um, it's now up to $459 or will be in the new year. A month. A month, which is over double. Which is criminal. Yeah. Well, that by law, they can only raise it 20%. And the past two years, they've raised it 20%. Yeah. They keep maxing it every single year. Yeah. The so maximum raise. It's over double in four and a half years. And... Everything's more expensive, okay? Like, you go out to eat, it's more expensive. Groceries are more expensive. Everything's more expensive. But you can, like, not go out to eat or go out to eat less. You can get the generic version of Wheat Thins instead of the Nabisco-branded Wheat Thins. Uh, but the HOA, we we can't escape it. Mm-hmm. Just when we thought we were out, they pull us back in. And there's a gym it's little and there's a pool it's little but 459 dollars yeah it's there's, crazy they also take care of obviously like all the landscaping and the gardening yeah. anything outside of uh, anything on the outside so like all of our roofs all yeah. of our exteriors of our building yeah very they claim it's insurance is rising insurance issues is why it's going up this year yeah sure <laughs> i say it's joe biden's inflation uh and i don't they like every year they redo the concrete in the pool <laughs> and it's like who are you hiring to do right. the concrete it's like when they quote unquote fix the potholes on the road and then at the first sign of any moisture any rain it oh turns gosh. into gravel yeah. it just crumbles away yeah rocks rocks um but 459 dollars that's a ton of dough i think well, we are talking to our uh, real estate consultant, Grandma Tian, um, to possibly move. Because um, I just can't see pissing away $460 a month on a tiny gym and a tiny pool. Um, and yeah, how are you feeling about yeah. that, honey? Um, I, I'm open to looking at, to move. Yeah. I just want it to be someplace that we're happy yeah because other than the hoa we absolutely love where we live yeah we have prime location we're in such a great spot in west sacramento yeah and we still have minor children so we have to consider our our, like where we are in relation to their schools yeah and their transportation issues yeah we're right by a ton of nature here, a ton yeah. of trees, open, wide open spaces that yes. it's not permitted for any building to happen. Yes. Super we're right by the, the free... levee. We're two minutes yeah. walk from the levee and the river. And it's just where I love where we live. Yeah. So I really don't want to move, but I'm, I, I'm open to looking and I know we're probably going to end up having to move somewhere. Love the berm. I uh, love being so close to the freeway. Uh, but uh and and the other thing is electricity our our during the summer when it gets super hot our electricity is over 600 bucks yeah it would be um, nice to live right now we're in the condos we don't have any control over the roof and so we don't have right, solar we don't right. have the option of getting solar so right. it would be nice to be able to do that in yeah. a house yeah and grandma teen is a huge proponent of solar um and yeah if we could cut HOA to, well, the place we're looking at this weekend was 117, I think, a month. And then it had solar. I was like, dude, we'd be sitting pretty and we don't have a pool. Uh, I would like a pool in theory. I like the (laughs) idea of a pool. Uh, And obviously that has cost like up to $200 a month. I'm anti-pool because I just, I don't think it's worth all the upkeep and the maintenance. Mm. I don't think we'd use it that often. Yeah. 
but you're for pool when it's a shared like like our HOA pool, right? Oh yeah, I like going to our pool here. We don't have, we don't have to do anything or think about it or worry about it. We just go and then come home. Yeah, and I like having the gym two hundred steps uh, from our front door because I'm strong. I lift a lot, uh, but it's it's a small gym. It's a small pool, uh, and to be perfectly frank, sometimes the pool is overrun with kids <laughs> who are going ape dung. That's or, part of the fun, the yeah. community aspect. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Actually, I like it when it's just us. Or yeah. When there's hardly anyone there, that's obviously a lot better. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, we looked at a place. Well, we didn't actually go inside, um, but we drove to the neighborhood. It's a little further from the freeway, uh, and you didn't like it. I hated it. You, uh... I hate that development. <laughs> We've looked at it before. Well, hate's a strong word. It's honey. very... It's very dystopian. <laughs> it just, I have such a, a ick feeling, <laughs> a very negative vibe when we're there. I, 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 w- I submit that uh, our current condominium complex is dystopian feeling. <gasps> no. Well, everything, we're really close. We're living on top of people, literally, at it, least this place. It doesn't feel like it, though. I know, I know. But this place, uh, you're, you're, it's super close. The homes are super close. But we would have our own home. We would have solar. I say let's keep looking. Okay. Let's. Uh... We got to stay West Sac because we don't want to uh, yank Lennox and Luna from out of their schools. Yeah. Uh, and we, I, I, I really like West Sac. It's small. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's small, just, but it's growing. Yeah. True. So in the next few years, it could totally change from what it currently looks like. Yeah, but have they have they been saying that for thirty years? Haven't you? Yeah, but now it's no. Haven't you been following all the city council meetings that have been happening lately? It's all got the green light. Everything's a go. So it's like going to actually start happening. Well, then our property value will go up, and we'll be booming. Okay. Boom. That's the the silver lining. Growth. Growth. Uh, financial property value through the roof higher higher uh so our garbage honey uh, our garbage woe continues our garbage woes continue uh how how are we doing how are you doing with (laughs) organics because i refuse to participate in Uh, this liberal agenda uh 99 percent of the time i'm composting properly Hmm. every once in a while I threw an eggshell in the garbage recently. Oh my gosh, how could you? Come for me. Why don't you just start a rainforest fire? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm still not participating. I still don't care. Uh, I'll throw anything I want into anything I feel like. Uh, but speaking of our uh, garbage company, Waste Management, so Friday it rained like cats and dogs, and I get it. There's traffic accidents there's just people driving slowly uh, everything's slows down um it was it was crazy lots of rain on friday uh and then that's our that's our garbage day and they didn't come to get our garbage and i got a voicemail and they said your garbage day your garbage has been delayed and it's your new garbage day or your garbage will be picked up on monday and i was like what the heck <laughs> Three days? Like, well, I'm sure they could get people out here on Saturday. And now the garbage cans are all still sitting out on the streets. Yeah. Filling up our teeny tiny street. Yeah. With this unslightly plastic cans blocking the roads. Yeah. <laughs> Urban blight. Um, And I still got to take out the trash. So I got to walk all the way to the freaking street. <laughs> it's where like 30 our, feet. Right. <laughs> it's better than... The uh, the the but it's much further than the the garage, honey. Yeah, you have to leave our home and go in the yeah. view of our neighbors. Yeah, and I've done it without my shirt and in my underwear because th- this is waste management's fault. Okay, I they, can't believe you've gone out there and just your chonies. You got to see me in my chonies, uh, and and the the other thing is, so we've been driving around. Everyone's garbage cans are out. Um. And one of one of the things they they're threatening to find us with is if the lid is not closed completely. If it's not, yeah, like if it's more than like three inches from the lid touching the can, and if, 
if it's open a little bit, you get a certain number of dollars fined. Yeah. And I never noticed this before, but like driving around and because everyone's garbage has been out for a few days, lots of people <laughs> have garbage pouring out of the top of their waste baskets. And so I'm driving around like, fine, 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 <laughs> fine, 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 fine. <laughs> it's just, it's madness. Who are these people who live like, how, what are they doing with their garbage? Because our garbage is not full yet. So I've been taking it out there. But if their garbage is spilling over into the street, what are they doing yeah. with their 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 uh, surplus It's garbage? just piling up in their kitchen or their garage. Yeah. Or they're putting it in their neighbor's cans who yeah. have space. Yeah. But you yeah. haven't noticed any anybody's trash in our bin, have you? No. Okay, good. I have not. Our bin is nice and <laughs> orderly and beautiful. Our trash is beautiful. Our trash is to die for. Uh, are you going to continue post composting, honey? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, good luck uh, with all that. I guess. Well, I wonder if we're going to get fined for the eggshell I put in the trash. Highly doubt it. <laughs> we, our, our evidence of fine is one person on the West Sac Facebook saying they got fined. Right. Well, if it could happen to one, it could happen to all. <laughs> I think everyone is is uh, violating. You know what? It's probably like when cops, uh, when they got to meet their quota for speeding tickets, because everyone's speeding. Everyone's looking at their phones. But mm, if you're the one in 10,000 who the cop just decides, oh, I'm going to pull this person over for speeding. That's probably right. like uh, there's, there's no one doing as much work. As you are, as we are, honey. <laughs> I, I'm the best composter in West Sacramento. You are. Yes. Yay. Yes. Uh, so I went to my parents uh, and for a few days. Um, and you drove me to the airport, honey. You dropped me off. Uh, and when you dropped me off at the departure area at SMF Terminal B, um, you didn't get out of the car. Yeah. Why? You didn't get out <laughs> well, of the car to kiss me goodbye, to hug me goodbye. What if I had died in that plane crash? Well, before you got out of the car, you were sitting in the passenger seat and you leaned over and you gave me a quick kiss and you said, okay, bye. And I was like, okay, bye. I love you. So I thought like that was that. I was following your lead. Don't you normally, when you drop people off in the history of your life, don't you get out and give them at least a hug, like if it's a yeah. friend or a mom or whatever? Sure. And you didn't give me that. Well, I, I didn't think you wanted that. Why not? Because you kissed me goodbye in the car. And so I thought that that was our farewell. What about a hug? What about an extra, oh. extra kiss and hug? Next time I'm going to get out. Okay. And I'm going to prolong our farewell for as long as I can. <laughs> yes. It's going to be like the end of uh, end of uh, The Bodyguard with Whitney Houston and <laughs> Kevin Costner. Um, I thought maybe it was because you were driving my car because you were uh, using my car that weekend. So maybe you were unsure of it turning off or I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, please get out of the car oh, for okay. etiquette purposes, honey. And uh, Etiquette? Yes, give me a nice long hug. Okay. And a kissy kiss. Just if I would have died, which I almost did, because I almost die in every uh, plane ride I'm on, uh, you would have thought, oh, I should have given him one last farewell. Smoocheroony. Uh, how was it uh, without me, honey? Uh, the weekend without me, you do usually do dishes six days a week. Uh, so going from six to seven, oh, how, wow. how did you cope? You know, I, the main thing I struggled with was making my own coffee. Oh, yeah. Because you make my coffee every single day. Yes, ma'am. And I had to text you, like, how many scoops of the grounds do you do? How much water? Yeah. It wasn't as good as yours. It didn't turn out as well. But it turned uh, out. Like, I got it. Yeah. That was the most challenging part. <laughs> it's still hot. There's still <laughs> caffeine. Uh, what about taking out the trash? Oh, I had to take out the trash. Yeah, yeah. that was kind of a challenge, too. Yeah. Where More does... of just an, an annoyance. Yeah. Where does the trash go, by the way? In the in the can. And where does the recycling go? In the other can. But where does the trash go? 
I uh, gave you my card, had nearly a full tank when I got it back. I didn't have a full tank. I, I know. know. I was going to get you gas or I offered to fill it up after you came home, but you said, no, it's okay. Yeah. No worries. Uh, Luna filled in for me. She was my uh, <laughs> proxy. She yeah. went grocery shopping with you. She helped mm-hmm. bring in the the groceries. Yes. You and I have a routine of how we grocery shop. You always push the cart. You always load the groceries onto the belts. Yeah. Luna did that. Wow. She was like totally in your spot. And nice. then when we came home, we loaded, unloaded the groceries. She carried them up the stairs. So yeah, she was my partner. She really helped out. Good job. And then I had a good weekend with the kids. We watched a movie together. I know. They that were never hanging happens out. when, I I, when I'm here. <laughs> they, were hang, they were hanging out with me. It was actually really fun. Yeah. Lennox and I... Friday night, we played football in the park, oh, right, and then right. it was a full moon that night. It was really pretty, so we walked over to the end mm. of the condos by the levee where there's a really pretty view with the mm. trees and everything. Um, We had a fun weekend. Yeah. The kids were really, like, they, maybe, they knew that I needed company, right. <laughs> so maybe. they were really, um, they obliged. In my night. absence, they uh, they took the mantle, Yeah, I the baton. I offered that we could all get in the bed and have a sleepover with Frankie <laughs> and the kids and me, but that they passed on that. None of the three slept with you. <laughs> nope. Uh, I slept with the light on, which you you hate. Yes, I want total darkness. I so. love, I love sleeping with the light on. We're very opposite this with is, that. This is where our love diverges. Yeah, I uh, did that in my parents, and then I had a bag of trail mix that was. I placed on top of my belly and I just ate the trail mix in bed. I hate your snacking in bed. Light on. Right. Well, you washed our bedding today and there's a 24-hour rule that I, <laughs> I can't eat in yes. bed. But, and uh, FYI, FYI, everyone, uh, I'm just talking about dry snacks, okay? Like I'm not uh, eating yogurt because yeah. that stuff spills. I'm not eating soup in bed. Yeah, it's dry. So sometimes I'm laying in bed and I move my leg around <laughs> and I feel all these coarse bits in our bedding. Yeah. Well, we have a we have a little routine where I'll eat some like popcorn in bed and then uh, you'll find a kernel or whatever. And then I say, we need to find out who was eating popcorn in our bed. And when I do, it's their ass. Uh Oh, you! I see here in my notes, honey, that some berries fell at your grocery cart. I went to Grocery Outlet, not the Carla Grocery Outlet. I went to the one um, by my office in yeah. Greenhaven. Yeah. And they piled my bags so high. I, I didn't think much about it, but the berries were on top. And then, you know, I pushed my car out the front, cart out of the front doors. And there's yeah. that... The ground the is yellow. like those bumps. Yeah, those yeah, yellow the, bumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so my car, I'm pushing my cart over it. My bag falls. My berries strewn everywhere Eesh. outside. It was oh, it was awful. I almost cried. Yeah. I went inside. I found an employee right inside the doorway, and I showed her what happened. She sent someone out with a broom. I I asked, "Can I please grab replacements for these? I just bought them." Yeah. Thank goodness they they let me just go pick out new berries. I didn't. They didn't charge me again. Did you have? A moment where you were like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this mess. I don't no way. Ask if they would give me more. No? No way. Huh? I was not going to leave without my berries that I just paid for. Oh, okay. I was very sad. I almost cried and there's an old lady outside and she saw what happened. She said, oh, oh, that's terrible. And I told her, they're going to let me have more berries. <laughs> and then I said, I feel like crying. She said, don't cry. <laughs> I would have I fled the scene of the crime, gotten out of there. Uh, and then I also see in my notes, honey, that you need Frankie in his in the face or chin. I was just walking normally, and Frankie was like hopping near me. Hmm. Sometimes he like prances around. Yeah. And he, my knee hit his little jaw, uh, and it was loud. I heard it. Uh, it was very disturbing the e- sound, and I felt so bad. And he was. He ran away and he was kind of mad at me for a while. Yeah. And I tried to pet him and apologize and he ran away from me. I felt so bad. 16 hour grudge. It's his fault. He's short. Okay. <laughs> he's short and he's dark, smoky gray. It's it's hard to see him in, in the in the cover of darkness at night. Yeah. Uh, he runs in front of you a lot when you're walking. Yeah. And, it, and then he stretches. Big stretch. Big stretch. Right when you're walking. It's so annoying. 
I've, I've hit him a few times uh, inadvertently uh, with my leg and feet. But it's, all, it's, it's his fault, man. I think he's okay now. Smarten up, Frankie. Prison Brides, honey. This is a television show. Uh, can you give us the premise? It's 90 Day Fiance meets Love After Lockup. Wow. So it's these women who meet these prisoners because there's like pen pal, these programs where you can have a pen pal with prisoners and then they end up falling in love allegedly. Yeah. So these women, they're all from overseas. These women. They're from uh, Europe and Australia, Germany, England. Yeah. And all these prisoners are in America. Yeah. So they're... They're all trying to immigrate to America. They're trying to get married. They marry these prisoners. Yeah. They actually get married even when the guys have years left on their sentences. Yeah. One couple, the the man has served 10 years of a 50-year sentence and this chick's <laughs> waiting for him. It's, what the hell? What the? And ev- with that particular couple, yeah. every single episode, the woman's parents are, the dad is crying. Yeah. It's so sad. Dad's crying. Mom's out of sorts. Sister is like, what's wrong with you? Friends. What what is wrong with these women? There's something wrong with all of them. They seem fairly normal. Like they all have jobs. They have friends. They have family. Yeah. But there's something wrong with them. Yeah. I don't know what it is exactly. Actually, I do have a theory. Okay. I think like... The fantasy of, I can save him. I can uh, change him. Uh, I think they talk to these guys and the yeah. guys are like, you make me want to be a better man. <laughs> You've saved me. You've helped me so much. And I think the women really like thrive off that feeling. Uh, the attention. One gal is like, oh, he, he has so much time for me. He he gives me so much attention. He he focuses so much on me. Yeah, he's in prison. <laughs> you moron. Yeah, I think they feel special <laughs> yeah. some, for some reason. and. Well, they, they, I, get, I don't know. There's what seven couples, something like that, um, and they they handpicked the women are from overseas, uh, and then the men are American, but uh, they, well, I, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> like, if you want a prisoner, if you're a German lady, pick a German prisoner, and don't pick one with. 40 more years of a sentence, pick a German prisoner who's going to be out in <laughs> 6 to 18 or whatever months. I wonder if these prisoner um, pen pal type programs don't exist in other countries. Maybe that's only mm. like American prisoners allow this. One guy, he said uh, he was writing to 20 gals. Like he had 20 suitors <laughs> and he was just a loser prisoner. I don't know. But you know what? It's an excellent television. <laughs> it's show. so entertaining. Like the whoever the producers, the the uh, the people behind this, the creators, they handpicked these couples, and the women, is, it's just they're just completely out of sorts. They're complete nut jobs, and they're There's, they're so devoted to these men. Yeah, and and the friends and family are like, "Why are you doing? Uh, this is what I want. It's my life." Don't you want to be happy? I am happy. I'm like, meant to be with him. The, he's the only person I want to be with. It's so ridiculous. And they all have these grand plans for when their men get out. They're going to get married. Well, they're, most of them are already married. They're yeah. going to have kids. Yeah. They're going to... She's going to... A lot of these women have already legally immigrated to America. And they've gotten homes and jobs. And they're just waiting for their man to get out. The Australian hairdresser is currently married and she has a kid in australia so she left her kid and is still not divorced for some loser prisoner (laughs) in michigan or whatever it's it's just these people are just they're nuts but i can't look away i know it's such a good tv show and uh oh by the way i heard about this from tv threads honey you got to get on television threads. You get off film Twitter. That's Meta, the threads. Yes. Meta. Yes. Social app or whatever. Yes. <laughs> AKA Facebook. Yes. Uh, I, I've gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of suggestions from television threads. Uh, Prison Brides is on, I don't know. It, it was, it's on A&E or Lifetime. I, I don't know. Google it or don't. No, we're, one, no one cares. We're watching it on Amazon Prime. Yeah. But it's a channel. 
on Amazon Prime that you have to pay extra for that we're currently mm. in a trial, which I'm going to cancel. We got a free trial from Amazon Prime just to watch this show. Yeah. And then you're going to cancel it as soon as we finish. Yeah. It's, Worth it. It's such a good show. These, <laughs> these people are nuts. Uh, the women specifically. And I mean... Uh, good on uh, good excellent casting by the way <laughs> prison brides uh, and one gal like she looks like Meghan Markle oh yeah Meghan Markle doppelganger yeah and you're like and she has stuff going on she, I think she's from Germany or somewhere in Europe but she has a family and she has a job and it's like why are you traveling to freaking America uh, some loser named Joseph Oh, and then they make excuses. Uh, yeah, he's in for double murder, but he didn't murder. He's no, innocent. His mom, his mom told the cops that he murdered someone, so they arrested him. And it was like, well, what are you talking about? Lee? There was a misunderstanding oh, with his best friend. Yeah. Or if someone's in prison for like, um, like armed robbery, yeah. they say stuff like, well, he he didn't hurt anybody. Right. He didn't do anything that bad. Right. Yeah, they... They downplay these crimes. He was just an accomplice. He, he just got caught up. It was a f- mistrial. And once Kim Kardashian uh, answers my DMs and gets her legal team, uh, my man's going to be free. Yeah, it's just these people are just nuts. And it's awesome television. Alrighty, well, are we done, honey? Yes. Okay, well, that's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. Please be sure to use our promo code for our HOA. We don't have a promo code for our HOA. I wish we had a promo code. I would use that for our HOA. Our HOA is currently three... 80? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, my parasocial podcast friends. I love you. My wife and I love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And sure, my wife may have kicked Frankie in the chin. Inadvertent. Oh. It was your knee? Yeah, my knee oh. and his miniature little tiny chin. Oh, you were like Mike Tyson. And <laughs> he was a young Michael Spinks. Uh... We don't have a promo code. <laughs> uh, thank you for caring. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. We hope you have a wonderful day last night. Oh, bye, bye. And a oop. Oop. We got chicken. Is that crispy, juicy, tender? I can't eat no longer. And a oop.